That's it guys, welcome all and welcome back to the Technus Corner. I'm your host Seb Luca. Today, this evening, this morning, this afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. And let's get stuck right on into today's video. So welcome back y'all. Today we're diving straight into what is a better AMD GPU in regards to a 6700 XT or its flagship currently the 6900 XT. In this video I'm going to show you a comparison between the two maybe not as comprehensively as others do in their articulated mining phrases but I'll definitely arm you with real world information that will enable you to make a better purchasing decision regarding if you're choosing to go the big red and team red AMD rigging it up for yourself especially if you're just getting into mining and thinking about investing now on a side note probably not the best time because I'll tell you what profits are scarce and thin and far between but with that being said we can still get an analysis of the two the 6900 XT pedigree AMD GPU currently out on the market against that more reasonably priced counterpart the 6700 XT now in Australia in Australian dollars the prices have been varying especially in the last couple of months going ups going downs because of Christmas because of an increase supply after the fact but the 6700 XT in Australian dollars to the 6900 XT is approximately a thousand dollars difference Australian so they'll approximately be about 770 750 to 800 dollars US difference between the two and if that's the case in your neck of the woods it's something to consider regarding the analysis between the two especially when it comes to mining and your initial investment into each gpu now i've got a humble rig just over to my left which has two 6700 xts and one 6900 xt so let's get a closer look at that before we start looking at the numbers so let's go all righty so here she is in all her glory big red big red is only quite little at the moment monitor on the side there that's turned off at the moment it's going to be quite useless for today's purposes because we need something a little larger so in turn we are going to use a larger monitor now i've got one of the fans turned off because it's a cooler day today it's not needed to be turned on um, as a result i've got three fans pulling there now look the 6900 xt's in the center big blue two red guards on the side are your 6700 xts okay and i'll not sugarcoat things on a hot day if you don't have air conditioning in the place you probably need one of those on your rig frankly now today's pretty cool the ambient temperature is about probably 25 in the room currently so as a result we've got the luxury of having these run in winter what you hear now is me probably about 30 centimeters away from the unit fans are blowing approximately at about 75 percent on each gpu in winter that can be considerably lower in fact once the fans drop to about 50 percent this rig is borderline dead on silent so that's something to consider if you live in a cold environment you'll be very very lucky also something to consider in a hot environment your ram your vram which is generally situated around this sections here of the card is going to heat up drastically drastically to the point of throttling your hash rates to cause them to drop considerably maybe even to half maybe even fault out the gpu altogether degrading the memory and the long lifespan of the gpu's capability to be able to perform and mine effectively that's something else to consider guys now with that being said we've got our 267s we've got our 6900 xt and they are all connected in through risers onto a b360 
MSI motherboard with an 8th gen CPU and 85 100 I believe which has four cores and eight threads to top that off We're just running it off an SSD which is just placed precariously to the side here a 128 gigabyte SSD and a 1200 watt Silverstone power supply now to power this rig effectively. I could get rid of the 6900 XT which requires Three eight pins and take one of those eight pins, put it to another 6700 XT and get an additional 6700 XT onto this rig. So you could power four 6700 XTs effectively minus the 6900 XT. Otherwise, with that being said, you've only got the luxury of powering these GPUs per se in this sequence with this power supply, regardless of the fact that it can handle 1200 watts. Enough of a run through of uh, Big Red here as he's powering through some calculations and stuff. Let's get into the numbers and that's what you're here for if you after a bit more of a run through on the on the rig itself Have a look at the uh, video that supersedes this one and was released earlier where my first mining rig is on fire because it sort of looked like it was on fire, frankly. So with that being said, we're going to have a look, a closer look at the statistics and analysis of the data. For this test purely, I've had the rig running for approximately 12 to 16 hours now on nice hash i'm not 100 percent sure if it's been up for that long because there was some maintenance which had to take place with the pcs and whatnot so there's a bit of restarting in that today was a pc maintenance day and as a result the rig had to go down for a little bit but with that being said it's been plotting on for a few hours now now after the updates surprisingly i've lost and that includes driver updates that includes the same settings being implemented through a loaded profile and that includes massive windows updates i've actually lost about one mega hash each on the 6700 xts on the average okay but i've gained about half a mega hash on the 6900 xt with that being said the averages suggested are about 46 of thereabouts for 6700 XT and about 64 on the 6900 XT regarding mega hash pertaining to the Ethereum algorithm and I believe we're on Daga Hashimoto at the moment and we have been non-stop all the three of the cards are on the same pool okay at the same time started at exactly the same time and as a result now you know where we're coming from it'll give a good indication of the profitability of the cards and what sort of numbers we are getting as a result so let's take a closer look alrighty so as we can see we got our numbers as just to verify nice hash miner okay and just over here we've got a little bit of a developers fee which is dropping the numbers okay numbers may be a little inaccurate here alrighty in total we've got just over ten dollars Australian AUD dollars being made per se on this rig a day according to numbers just polled recently but that doesn't completely give you the accurate depiction because as you can see speeds here on the 6700 XT and the 6700 XT top side and bottom side just here are 4680 and 4682 now we're getting 62.22 mega hash on the 6900 XT at 147 watts as opposed to 119 and 18 watts respectively on the 6700 XTs so that's approximately decent chunk percentage in jump where as well that 6900 XT is underperforming by at least one mega hash I would suggest. On the other hand, like I say, the 6700 XTs, okay, are both about three quarters of a click less than what they were before these updates occurred. Now, if we have a look at the share counts, 
okay in valid shares we've got four and three and one we've got 674 shares on the 6900 xt as opposed to 527 and 521 155.87 mega hash in total this was topping out about 157 158 at one stage okay and cores respectively and memories overclocked respectively as such I could push a 6900 XT memory up ever so slightly, but I'm just giving it a little bit of breathing space because what I was finding was on the really hot days that we had recently, I don't have air conditioning in this room. As a result, what we found was essentially there was overheating of the memory and it was clear as day. It had to drop. That subsequently fixed the problem. It was addressed rather quickly, so no long-term damage occurred to the GPU, I am confident on that fact, but that's something to consider. Now, shares a minute, 5.97, uptime. We've been up for almost five hours now as a indication with 1.852 kilowatts accumulated. So just on that factor, on approximately, on a longer run in itself, I did the numbers on shares accumulated and it was averaged out to about 17.25, 17, 1,725 1, shares on the 6700 XTs, the two of them a piece, okay? As opposed to the 6900 XT at 2,250 or 2,250 shares. Taking a set amount as a percentage of the other, it equates to the 6900 XT being on the basic guys, and just to sum it up, 25% stronger at mining, okay, then literally on the dot, 25% stronger at mining than the 6700 XT. But with an initial outlay of $1,000 more, you have to understand that it's not from three to four thousand dollars more that you're spending you're spending around the thirteen hundred dollar mark to the twenty three twenty four hundred dollar mark australian regarding these set cards that's a massive jump for what is only a 25 percent gain so that's also something to consider with that in mind i could have potentially got with an additional three to four five hundred dollars i could have got two 6700 xts instead of just the one 6900 xt and on that rig i'd be pulling closer to 200 mega hash okay rather than closer to the 160 mega hash that we're pulling currently but keeping that in mind more power will be drawn as well and on the average these are drawing about I'd say 115 watts on the 6700 XTs, which means that equates to 230 watts on the two or 460 watts on the four if we had the four. Now, on the other hand, that 6900 XT for a 25% gain is only using approximately 20 more watts when effectively undervolted or overclocked be it but undervolted and tuned efficiently so the figures where people say there are 180 watts lies the figures where you know the 6700 xts are a lot heavier lies i'm giving you the scoop now amd gpus are solid as but you have to consider that within the price range of what you're spending and on a comparison level to the potential hash power of cards which are nvidia 3000 series uh which all are lhr now so that's another consideration and whether you can get an lhr unlock on it is another story to unleash the card's full potential okay guys so with that being said i hope that address any myths and or questions you may have had between the differences between the 6700 xt and the 6900 xt applicably so they 
both for my sake do me a good job the 6900 xt is an upgrade to my other pc once it's finished earning a couple of dollars for me in the process or paying itself off it's going in my gaming pc as an upgrade to the current gpu i have in that just in a nutshell as well on top of that we've got a 2070 2070 efficiently done is probably pulling about 40 41 mega hash okay and i've got another 6700 xt in the rig here generally because it's running the monitors off the gpu it's only maximum pulling ever about 45 mega hash 44 43 42 mega hash depending if i'm using it or not okay guys so my name's seb luca thanks for joining me at the technus corner peace out